you know, I need to speak more on this Israel matter. And if you are close to Israel, you are Israel friends, please do not speak on this Israel issue and his wife. Because they might settle themselves and they will use you as a point of settlement. So don't talk. But we are allowed to talk about it. So allow us to express ourselves. Hmm? Allow us to express ourselves. And the amount of support Israel wife is getting, I don't understand. Guys are even supporting Israel wife. Ah, young girls out there supporting Israel's wife. I don't understand the support. I wasn't expecting her to get any support because she wasn't right. But all the same, though, we are all entitled to our own individual differences. You know? And again, those of you are supporting Israel's wife, you are a fan of David. You cannot stay a day without listening to Davido's music. You are following the video on social media. You will even want to go to Davido concert if your boyfriend calls you or your husband calls. If your boyfriend calls you and says, "Hey, babe, let's chill tonight, or let's go out for something," and Davido is coming to your town, will you rather go to that place to see Davido? And following your girlfriend at the same time, you are supporting Israel wife. You are supporting Israel wife when the Israel they try and make money through David Do Yoga. The same way you too they follow David Do up and down. You know, they even they make money from David Do. You are just following him on every social media, liking every David Do's post. <laughs> the irony about like uh, people supporting Israel's uh, wife. Well. I want to speak on this matter, like I've said before, and I want to read the accusation from Israel wife. She said, I was going to keep my reserve on this, but as it is, I see no reason to. Did I see sign before wedding? Yes, I did. One of the reasons was because of the rush on the wedding, even after I said we should give it time. It came up with a lot of excuses and threats. Most of these, most of most of most of the thing he said regarding the wedding was without my consent. Down to invitation card, I did not even get to see what the design looked like before it was printed. I only get to find out a bus stop after it's been paid for. He had a fight that I told him that it seems. It is event planner he wants to marry because they are not carrying me along. Proceeding to the wedding, there was a huge turn up. It was elaborate. Was, was, that's what I even wanted? No. She said she never wanted an elaborate party. That his girl was the one planning everything. She never wanted an elaborate party. What do women want? What do women want? They give you an elaborate party, you say no want. What do women want? If they give you one poor man party now, you will be shouting. How can you be David Do's friend and look at the kind of party? How can you be David Do's friend and David Do will come to your party? Ah. Well, then she continued, she said, but Oga said he's a public figure. People hide this, so he had to do it big. The white wedding, the wedding happened, and the wedding day passed. Now, when I see us see marriage, he started showing up as his real self in full. He will be traveling and asked me not to put on gem, not to go anywhere. Don't do this, don't do that. He literally used the wedding to gather money for himself. He wanted massive support and he got it. What I expected from him as a wife was, baby, see what we got to, waiting we go use and do, or see waiting I want use and do. I don't think that support, that's supposed to be anything. So even when he failed to do any of those, I overlooked. <laughs> she said, 
it was a laborate party that it was because of David Doe he did a laborate party. See, David Doe was a public figure. And after the party, Israel siphoned all the money put out for bag. <laughs> see, she was expecting Israel to say, free money. Okay, see, she was expecting Israel to say, ah, this is what we are we go to. How are we going to spend it? Mm. Mm. Then she also said, Israel will, will travel. And they told and tell her not to put on a generator, not to do this, not to do that. We started having issues from November. I will tell him I'm going to the salon. When I get there, he will text me to come back. The first time this happened, I thought it was a joke. Yet I already went back home because I was already living in fear. I got home and the gate refused to open for me. Say, Oga say, make no open gate. I called him on phone. He said, I should go back to where I'm coming from. Okay, Israel. That wasn't good. Though. See, see, men shouldn't be doing that. Let's be honest. Eh? The only time you're going to do that is where you suspect your wife that is cheating, but that's not the way. Hmm? Let your wife come in, and if you want to drive your wife, eh, go to the mother's house. Tell your wife may pack a load, eh? Carry moto, carry and go in mother house. You know they lock wife for outside. Nah, that one I hold it this time. You know they lock wife for outside. The easiest thing for you to do, eh? You know, since some women be every job, if you carry the entire house, they will even burn your house. You understand? If it's that case, there's another way to handle it. But you know they lock woman for outside. So Israel, if that one happened, I will support you for that one. She is also conscious, he said, I was outside the gate frustrated and ashamed. I called his dad and reported him. His father called him back to tell him that Israel is insulting him. The father complained back to me. I asked my cab to start driving me around while I'm calling him to ask the gate man to open the gate. After the plenty calls from his dad and me, he finally instructed the gate man to open the gate. I took the wall of shame back into the house. When he got back home that day, I was so hot. I could not say anything till the next day. I told him calmly that no matter issue we no matter the issue we we were having, we get make outside no okay. That even if I did something wrong, come back inside and correct me. I explained how hot and how embarrassed it was. He didn't say anything, but apologized after some days. No one aside the people on the street and neighbors knew about this. I, didn't, I don't know it was going to happen again and again and again and again. Both the church and family got involved to resolve uh, regular to resolve issue regularly, everyone, family, kept saying, oh, you should be quiet on things like this always. Call us. Okay, should be quiet on things like this always. Call us. Always talk to us. At some point, it stopped me from visiting my parents or my siblings from visiting. Ah! Israel, are you a, are you a psychopath? You don't want your wife to associate with people. Are you a goddamn psychopath? <laughs> you don't want your you are removing your wife from your from her family, removing your wife from her father. Are you a psychopath? Hmm? You are locking the gate over and over again. You already married, so as old as you are. You know the shame. Then she continued to say, as bad as that went, I still shove it aside. But sister, what do you do when make is the log it? I know say no good, though, but still tell us what do you do now. Just like that. My sister had to leave my house late at night, and I was left in the house with his with his sister, who was staying who was staying with us at the time before he finally chased her out on another occasion that he locked me out and she opened the door for me as the instruction of the dad. I still didn't sleep in the house that night because he kept on threatening both me and the sister. 
I went to my parents' house. My parents brought me back. That since he is not around, I can stay at least. But I was scared. I ran at this point. I was getting depressed. I was literally living in fear. Another time in January, I was to attend one of my close friend's wedding. He knows how close I was to this person. And the very day she told me of the of her wedding, he knew how excited I was. He knew when I got as be. The day of the wedding which I woke up very uh, early, served him and did all I had that morning. And I was ready to leave the house. I met him to tell him I'm going to my friend's house. Friend's house. They need me for assistance and all. It was the traditional. It started with, what if I say make you no go? I replied with, why you go say make I no go? He said, so you mean I didn't, I don't have the right to tell you say make you no go? I say, you get a bet, why you go say make I no go? You will at least give me a reason. <laughs> make a, give me a reason not to go. But just say I shouldn't go for something. You know how I've been planning for months without any reasons of fair. He said, oh yeah, don't go. I asked why. He said, no reason. But if you come up for this house, then no come back again. I just stood for some minutes, looked at him, then I left to another room. I was so pained, but didn't know what to do. Or even say at this point. This man was saying all sorts of hurtful things. To, to me unprovoked, saying I can never amount to anything. That the only thing about me now say I be virgin. Over his dead body will he start any business for me? And his dead well, dead body, this and that. At this point I just I, I was just in tears. When he walked out of the room, I quickly locked the door. He raised his voice higher and and uh, was talking and eating the door. He kept on talking for some hours. I'm not uh, abrogated. I had my first ever panic attack that day. The moment I had him walking away, I ran out of the house. He started calling and texting me that as I have gone, I shouldn't come back. I took it that whatever triggered him to do that, that money, knowing I did nothing to him, he go don't come there. I came back to the house. The gate was, wasn't was locked. I was happy only for me to see that the gate, the, see that the gate of our flat was locked. I called him that I was back. He finally came back and told me to leave. This time, no gate man. It was him by himself. I didn't go for the wedding. I wasn't fit to anymore. I told him, if you are sending me out of the house, open the door, make a carry my things. He refused that he would call me back another day to pick all my things out of his house. He called brands I was working with and threatened them not to do anything with me again. Some of them give in out, out of fear and even when I was asked what happened, I couldn't say. The day he finally asked me to come and carry my things, he locked me inside the house and that was the first time he hit me when I was struggling to go outside. I had to run to the kitchen and hold a knife to defend myself until police got involved. I ended up hot, starting battling with a chest pain as that the area I was hit and a scene was created in the neighborhood. It was it, we were separated for months after this incident. <laughs> See this woman, I, woman, you just narrated everything. Me favor you. What do you do? For instance, person go say, "See, I've seen this scenario." Hmm? Man will say, "Okay, if I got tell you, joking, or if I tell you, see me, you no good that party you go." It depends on how you treat that man. Ah, babe, I know so you get every right to, but I beg, man, you know, say. You decided to go to the hotel. I don't see your head the hotel. I beg. Please, you will carry me go say. 
or maybe you say why? I should go tell me say I no go that party. Ah, uh, that means you don't they temper the man. You are not tempering with the man, right? So because men, their head no correct. They might just say something sometimes in order to get your reaction. They are like babies. Tell you the truth, people do not understand it. Some girls don't understand it. This is you give mad hot hot. Man, they put you for house. You might just even tell me you no go that place, okay? They say way to handle that man, and it will be like. And you will see good about it. You already went outside, you may come back to tell me say you don't go to the party again. Where you can go? Well, <laughs> I might get back to each other, but let's check out Israel's part. <laughs> 